Okay, folks, this is all about sliding rope, is, was the question. So what you got to know is you got to have your strings out of the way in the right side of your saddle if you're right-handed clear. Get rid of everything that might hang up on it. Next thing is if you got a 60-footer, you need to recoil your rope because it makes it where the coils can't cross each other so easy and it's easier to hold in your hand. So you get rid of the coils, you drop the tail of the rope over the left side, and now you make coils about this big. I don't have coils this big when I'm riding because I don't like big coils when I'm going out through the brush. Especially with the Riata, you always keep an eye on your coils and keep track of them. Now they're bigger and you have something to handle. Now of course when you dally you're going to teach yourself to not look at the horn. The biggest problem people have with sliding rope is the first thing is letting the rope slide through their hand. So I've got this log and when the rope comes tight people try to pull the critter to the saddle horn. So you have to learn to let the rope slide through your hand. Now the, the, the big deal about this for me is to make sure you understand that you turn your coils toward the saddle horn. Now I can ride and let the rope slide and slide my hand up and dally without a problem. That's for sliding through your hand. Sliding around the horn comes later. So now I'm going to dally this time and then I'm going to start sliding rope. Everything looks right. I've caught. I'm riding off. I let the rope slide through my hand. I dally. My hand is on the left side. My coils are facing me and now I can let go with my right hand and my left and let the coils come out of my hand. And when I need the rope again I just dally one more time and lock them down. And when you're when you're sliding rope you can slide from the left side of your horn or you can hold your your rope back here. A lot of guys hold their ropes back here and one of the reasons is is that you can kind of guide your rope like if you're dragging a small calf it helps you keep the little the legs of the little calf in the loop and if you've got one hind leg which we would never do the rope starts snapping and you can hold your hand back here and keep it from slapping your cold on the butt. So this is me dallying reaching back and this is how much room I have to slide if I choose. I'll just let the rope slide around the horn and then I lock it down as I get here. Now those of us at Dally, we slide rope a lot of times a half inch at a time. Now, folks, something to note is those of us that dally all the time, we slide rope maybe a quarter inch, half inch at a time, ten inches. But like if a critter takes off running and hits the end of your rope, you automatically slide a little bit as you dally. That's just something we learn to do so we don't jerk our horses around. That's, that's what we try to avoid is having the horse take that big jerk. So I can dally... And now I can hold my dallies, or I can slide just by leaving my hand here. You see the coil disappearing, that's me sliding. If I want to lock it down, I just take another wrap. I can slide on this horn just by letting go. 
So that's that's a story on sliding rope. Now obviously you want to practice with a log and not with a live critter if you don't know how to do this. <laughs>